Hello guys, we have a new interesting video for you. Again, about cars. The best selling cars models in Germany in 2020. If you've seen our video about the best selling car models in the UK so far, although with not that many surprises, this will be interesting. If you haven't seen the video, check the description and you will find there the link. Let's get started. Place number 10 is occupied by BMW 3 Series, sold in 32,093 units. Not bad, but this is the only model from BMW who made the top. Over the years the 3 Series held its popularity among youngsters and not only. It's a sporty looking car with lots of options but more reliable with diesel engines than the petrol ones. Moving to 9th place we find Volkswagen Polo sold in 32,203 units. Despite the environmental scandals from the recent past, Volkswagen brand is still loved by Germans. And why not? Since it's so popular, there are a lot of third-party manufacturers for parts making it cheap to maintain and run. The 8th place is redeemed by Opel Corsa, which was sold so far in 33,546 units. Again, a renowned German manufacturer. Somehow we are not surprised and we bet you aren't either. Opel is known as a cheap but good car, or at least in the past it was. A few years ago they made some engines which developed some pretty expensive faults well before 100,000 kilometers. On the seventh place we find Volkswagen T-Roc, which was sold in 34,568 units. Another Volkswagen. Not a surprise. T-Roc was the actual surprise. The T-Roc made its worldwide debut on 23rd August 2017, so it's a new model. And this means that you don't really know what to expect in terms of reliability. The T-Roc sits below the Tiguan and above the slightly smaller T-Cross. The sixth place is occupied by Skoda Octavia, sold in 36,405 units. The first non-German brand which is actually owned by a German holding company. Surprise, but not a surprise. The Skoda Octavia is a family car produced since the end of 1996. There were four generations made by now. The car is available in both front and four wheel drive. Around 5 million units have been sold in its two decades of presence on the market. On the fifth place, we find Fiat Ducato, sold in 36,492 units. An Italian car which is practical, but known to be not very reliable. Some people say Fiat stands for fix it again tomorrow, and yet it is very popular among Germans. The Fiat Ducato is a light commercial vehicle developed by the joint venture between Fiat and PSA Peugeot Citroën, produced since 1981. The Ducato is the most common motorhome base used in Europe, with around two-thirds of motorhomes using the Ducato base. The fourth place is occupied by Ford Focus, which was sold in 38,406 units. The strange thing is that it occupies the same place in the UK market, but with slightly lower sales. We guess people really love this model. This is the only American car in the top, but that doesn't really surprise anyone. On the third place we find Volkswagen Passat, with 41,348 units sold so far. The Volkswagen Passat is a series of large family cars manufactured and marketed by the German automaker Volkswagen since 1973 and now in its 8th generation. In 2008, Volkswagen launched Passat CC, a 4-door coupe variant of the Passat. Second place is occupied by Volkswagen Tiguan, sold in 45,733 units. The Volkswagen Tiguan is a crossover SUV manufactured by the German automaker Volkswagen also. 
introduced in 2007 as the second crossover SUV model under the Volkswagen brand, the first generation model used the PQ46 platform. The second generation model was released in 2016 and it's still on sale. Third car from Volkswagen in top 3. Occupying the first place, it's Volkswagen Golf, sold in, wait for it, 101,000 units, which is more than double than the second place. The Golf was first in sales in 2019 also with, again, wait for it, 149,701 units sold. These figures are very impressive, we must say. There isn't much to say about the Golf since we all know the model. As you might notice, not even one Japanese car in this top. And 7 from 10 cars are made by German manufacturers. What else can we conclude apart from the fact that the Germans really like German cars? Thank you for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe.